Alexander Rice here with a update. Um, this is an update with the one month I've had with the Astro House free write. Um, I'm going to just talk about how I feel about it so far. I have written every single day on this. Um, so about a month and a half I've reached in my draft. So I'm just going to give over thought or go over thoughts. Um, I've had a lot of good responses on my previous video and I just want to say thank you. Um, I know this isn't a product that is necessarily affordable to everyone. And I just want to preface that I am very fortunate and blessed to have found this at a used price. Um, I got it significantly reduced. So, um, I was very lucky. I don't think I would have, I don't think I would have been able to afford this if I would have paid full price. Um, but yeah, this is the free write. Um, this is their larger model. I've had this for about a month and a half. I got it on my birthday, which was March uh, 28th. So I've had it for about a month and a half fish, month and a half ish. But I have used this every single day since I've gotten it. And I have been able to test it out, see what's good, see what's bad. Um, and just kind of Weigh the pros and cons. Um, I tuned into Freewrite. They had a pu public question and uh, answering session a couple days ago, and I tuned into that. And a lot of the questions that I had about this device were answered there. There's a comment on my previous video from a very kind gentleman who told me um, how to search through drafts. And I didn't even know this. And I was thinking, like, if I push these two um, new, new buttons together, that my progress would be over. So thank you so much for you. Um, I will go over what that means. And again, this is just my thoughts. This is just my experience. I'm no way, shape or form trying to advocate you purchasing it. I'm just telling you this is how it works for me and this is how I feel about it. Anyways, before I get into that, I do wanna share what I'm reading right now. Um, just really cool plug. Um, this book, The History of Scotland, which has been extremely helpful for just researching my next novel, which is set in Scotland. So um, this has been a, a delightful read. I'm only about 50 pages into it, but I've learned so much about geology, rocks, how Scotland got formed, and now I'm getting into um, the people of Scotland. So I'm super excited. I wanna bring some kind of authentic feel to the history and this um, beautiful country that I got to see last year and, and that I really enjoyed. But anyways, that's what I'm reading. We'll get onto the video. All right, so my apologies. The desk isn't always the cleanest. I got a deck of cards. I have a fountain pen that I haven't worked with in a bit. That's the SD that I reviewed. Um, and that's from Game of Mother. Super cool. Um, my notebook over here with all my story ideas and a nice chocolate porter. Cheers. Anyways, free write. One month progress. Um, I don't know what, where to go with this other than the fact that I've used it every single day for a month. Um, and I have, I have loved it. I have loved the experience that I got. Sorry, my desk is a little creaky. Um, so essentially, uh, I discovered a couple things that I wanted to share with people. Um, this device has a command shortcut list on their website. So I did figure out how to do a couple things and I just wanted to show that along just so if you know if you have a free write and you're not 100% aware of, aware of where this is at, I'll link it in the bio of my video, but this is just me showing you how to do these things. So I went over it. I'm not going to go too much into the um, basics of it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but power button um, I have a draft here that is 35,000 words. So I have drafted every single day for 35 days. I have never missed a day and I am very proud of that. This device has given me the ability to want to continue. And I just, I've never been so in love with writing before. This clicky clacky typewriter, the cherry keys, the whole process. I have people who ask me what it is and it sparks conversation. And then they're like, oh, you're a writer. Have I seen your books or where can I get your books? It's just a conversation piece. You can't bring this into a coffee shop without someone asking you. You can't bring it anywhere without anybody asking you. It's a very quirky device and um, yeah, de definitely gets attention, which is not, it's honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind having the conversation. It links me together and, and it's an interesting way of connecting. But anyways, 
35 days, 35,000 words. My goal is 90,000 words for this uh, draft. Um, so that will place me uh, about the end of June, which is perfect because I will be on a vacation for three weeks. So hopefully I'll get this done by then. But anyways, the um, thing that I learned that I wanted to share, I don't think anyone, I don't think a lot of people know about this. Maybe I live under a rock and everyone knows about this, but um, this, when you pre press these two buttons together, it creates a new draft. And I was always scared. Okay, this is my project. If I push these two together, I don't sync this thing very often because I like the offline mode. So if I was to push these two together, would I lose my book? And I was terrified. Well, it turns out that's not actually what happens. Um, it just makes a new draft. So here is my draft now. And to scroll through the draft, so you have folder A, B, and C. That isn't book A, B, and C. That's folder A, B, and C. And within folders, you can have drafts, multiple drafts. So I was so stunned. So if you push the new key and the up or down, so all the drafts are down from here. So draft two, there's a draft here, there's a draft here and a draft here. Sorry, with the weird words, I was just drafting weird stuff. Anyways, there's drafts within folders. So that is how you search them. So if you go over here, I don't think I have anything in this folder, but a bunch of random letters up, nothing, down, down, nothing, I'm seeing. So press new plus page down again to revisit an older draft. So this thing literally is capable of storing multiple drafts, multiple projects, multiple in multiple folders, and I've just figured that out, um, which is fantastic. This is, a again, a one-month review of this device, and I am learning just as fast as I can, and I want to share with you guys what I'm showing you. So um, here's another thing I learned. Um, so for instance, uh, this draft here is just a short story, Sir Camelot, um, that I'm working on kind of intermittently. Um, and I learned that you can delete words and lumps with holding the new key in the backspace, which I sat in, went all the way back to whatever I needed to delete. And that was just ridiculous. So the new key plus the backspace, this is a more, um, this is a more common one that people are aware of. I should preface that even on my phone and my computer at work, I am holding a weird button in the right hand corner, or excuse me, the left hand corner, this one, and holding the backspace. And I am somewhat disappointed that I'm not able to delete chunks of words like I am on this device. It's interesting to see how one month of using this has completely retrained my brain into using keyboards differently. Again, this is another reason why this device is such a niche device. It's such a inspiring device. I mean, I could give it so many different um, descriptives. I think it's fantastic. So, and I've charged it a couple times, not super crazy. Um, when you hold the space bar, you see my battery. I'm sitting about um, about a half battery. My last, uh, last draft was synced about a month ago. So I don't ever hook this thing up to the internet. And I just realized that there, through, the, through the little USB cord that you have, this guy, you can actually just plug it into your computer. So you actually never have to put this device on the internet. You never have to connect to the wife into Wi-Fi if you don't want to. So if you want to write purely on this device and never ever export your document until you're ready to do so, you can just plug it into your laptop and do it that way, which I think is great. I mean, again, the purpose of this device is to un is to disconnect, to remove myself from my phone, to focus on a draft, to focus on writing. Um, there's so much science, statistics, whatever word you wanna use that explains that with every distraction, your phone pops up, you're distracted for about 20 to 30 minutes before you can get back into the flow of things. I don't have this problem anymore. I very easily um, can go through a draft. Let's go down to a different one. Uh, here, 
I could very easily go to a draft, you know, whatever. I can, um, where was he going with this? Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long day. Um, I could go to a draft and um, just sit in that draft and work for hours. I really can. Um, a thousand words only takes me about an hour, so I guess I'm writing one hour a day, um, and I'm only doing this on the times I have off for my work. Um, so typically at night, I'm not a night writer, so I don't have the courage to get up very early in the morning because I like my sleep. So I'm trying to balance that with just getting at least a thousand words done. I might increase that with my next novel and and just see if I can go 1,000, 2,000. I think 3,000 would probably be a max because that's a, that's a novel in a month and that's pretty ridiculous as it is. Um, so yeah, anyways, there are some cons to this device that is kind of difficult for me. Um, and I think that, you know, this is an e-ink display and there are some limitations with the refresh rate on an e-ink display that I hadn't, um, understood. So for instance, let's delete that nonsense, but, um, uh, hi, uh, yeah, so I love to write. So I have noticed, um, don't worry about my spelling or my capitalization or whatever. I've noticed that the 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 um, the rate of refresh is kind of slow. So let me see if I can go some go a long place really quickly. I'm just gonna type words. They're not gonna make sense, but So it actually isn't doing it right now. Maybe it's when I have a longer draft, but I've noticed that I'll be um, on a line and then I'll be typing down here somewhere. Already have typed this line and it hasn't refreshed in. So it's not doing that now, which is great. The only other thing that is kind of tedious is I have fat fingers. Like look at how fat these fingertips are. I'm used to working on a Mac and a Mac, the travel key, like pushing down the travel is a lot less. So I found myself um, having difficulty with typing fast because I'll accidentally press keys together and then I have to sit there and go back because who wants to edit that in a draft? But those are my two negatives is just the fact that the refresh rate sometimes isn't the quickest. And maybe the second one is just the fact that I have fat fingers and free write can't do anything about that, you know? So, um, but yes, those are the two things I've noticed that have kind of taken me out of the device, taken me out of... The enjoyment of using the device is just the speed at which it refreshes as well as my fat fingers. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I have loved this device. And I just want to say really quickly, free write the company. Like a lot of times we don't really keep in mind that when we buy products, we're supporting companies. And I do believe that um, good companies treat their customers well and because of that, you'll want to continue to work with them. And I just want to say really quickly, FreeWrite is amazing. Um, I could post something on social media. They respond to it. I could, they like photos of their device. They're so encouraging. Their, their goal is to get people to use these devices for what they were intended to be used for. And they're proud when they see people do that. Um, they have these little achievements that you get in your email um, every like 10,000 words, five or excuse me, 50,000 words. They, they send you achievements like it's like they're like incentivizing you like subconsciously to continue to write. I got one the other day for 10K. I think the next one is 50K and I'm not too far. I'll be a week and a half from that. And then there's 100, 500 and then a million. Holy cow, a million words. That's 10 books for me. Could you imagine using this device for, for 10 books? But it, the, the crazy thing is, is I could use this device for 10 books for 10 years. I mean, 20 if you count two years per book, which is another point that I want to make is this thing looks and feels like it will last a long time. So if you really think about it, $700, $800, however, however much it costs, divide that by how many books, how many years, how many hours you'll spend. And it doesn't really equate that much. Like uh, you buy a coffee once a week for every, uh, or you, a couple times a week for every week, that's 52 weeks in a year. Like eventually this stuff all adds up and I'm not saying give up coffee because that is completely mental, but you can 
find ways of trying to be able to afford this. Again, I don't know people's financial situation. I'm not implying anything. Look on offer up. Look on your used places. People get these devices and then sometimes they don't work for them. But, you know, they're not going to sell them for full price. Um, the person who had this device for me was really into it during the pandemic. And then he wasn't. And then I saw it and I'm like, holy cow. Like, yes, I would love to buy that. And it was, I think I paid $270, which is pretty dang good for a lightly used device. I literally struck out, thank the Lord that I was able to afford this. And I just want to, again, go back to the point where this is an investment in your craft. Um, much in the same with a laptop. I've had my MacBook for uh, six years. And the unfortunate thing is, is it's no longer, I can no longer update that thing. It's no longer supported at the Genius Bar, can no longer get it repaired. So I'm pretty much SOL. The, the laptop is obsolete. And it's sad because those things are expensive. MacBooks break all the time, but we're more inclined to be able to buy those. And, and I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm just saying that if you really enjoy your craft, I, I think fountain pens and notebooks are a great way to draft. I do it sometimes as well. But this is just, this has completely changed things. And I just want to say, like, thank you to Freewrite for your numerous Instagram Instagram ads. I have not been able to get away from not seeing one of these at least once a day. And maybe that's a negative thing. But um, yeah, I just, it's a great device. And I'll probably do an update six months from now, a year from now. Um, Writerly Witterlings, the... YouTube page that originally introduced me to this beautiful device, save for the YouTube, or excuse me, Instagram ads, has done one multiple years. His, I think he just did a three year, um, which is amazing. It's so amazing. He's used this device for three years. Like, good for him. Like, that is awesome. We need to be saving things and using them and not getting this replace, upgrade, rotate mentality that, you know, is not really the, the most productive, but that's not a ramble that's worth going into. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have additional comments, um, just leave them in the the, uh, the in below the chat below. Um, I'm going to put a short key cut list or short key cheat list for this device. I think that the three rights are still on sale for today only for Cinco de Mayo or for um, uh, NaNoWriMo National Writing Month. If you completed that, you can get some percentage off. But anyways, this is a bit of a weird video of just me talking about how much I like this device. I'm not being support or uh, I'm not getting any kind of deal out of it. I'm not receiving compensation. This is just a writer who was looking for a way to not just be distracted by the world around him. And this is what I landed at. And I am very satisfied. Um, as always, please like um, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you'd like to see next, and I will do it. Thank you so much, and have a great day.